Hi guys, today we are going to keep on explaining techniques for plastic manufacturing and today it's time for vacuum forming, calendaring, rotational molding and deep molding. Vacuum forming. A sheet of plastic is placed over the mold of the object we want to make. The mold is placed inside the machine. The plastic sheet is positioned and held in place with clamps. The plastic sheet is softened by means of electrical resistance. Here you can see the electrical resistance and the sheet. The mold is slowly raised so that the plastic sheet begins to have contact with the mold. The air is extracted from the machine with a vacuum pump so that the sheet takes on the exact shape the exact shape of the mold. The mold is separated from the plastic and we now have the final product. The edges of the plastic are then cut off. Um, this process is used to make objects with very thin walls. One example of objects made with this technique are disposable plates and cups, for example. Another example is a relief map. The second technique is calendaring. This process involves the use of a machine called a calendar. The molten plastic is inserted through a hopper at the top of the calendar and is passed through a series of rollers that give the sheet or plate its shape. So by compression we obtain sheet or plate. A calendaring is used to make for example PVC sheets, greenhouse sheets, folders and office supplies, uh, to cover fabrics with a layer of plastic and ETC. Rotational molding. In the rotational molding or roto molding process, a mold containing molten plastic inside is turned slowly. The mold is filled with the plastic granules. Second step, the mold is closed and the motors and heaters, here you can see the heaters, and the motors are turned on. The mold turns on two axes, one vertical and another horizontal. The centrifugal force causes the plastic to move towards the worst of the mold and take on the shape of the object that it is made. The plastic melts thanks to the heaters and creates a continuous wall on the size of the mold. The mold is cooled down with water or air in order to allow the plastic to solidify. The rotation of the mold is stopped, the top is opened and the product is removed. This process is especially used to make large sized objects like for example recycling containers. Um, using injection molds maybe would be very expensive for these very large objects. 
So this technique is more appropriate. Next one, and the last one, deep molding. As you can see, deep molding consists of submerging a porcelain or glass mold into a bath of molten plastic. In this way, the plastic sticks to the walls of the mold, forming a thin layer all around it. Afterwards, the mold is taken out of the bath and the plastic is dried with electrical gas or air heaters. Once the, pla the plastic covering has solidified, the mold is removed. This process is used to make gloves, balloons, swimming cups, condoms, tool handle coverings, and etc. And this is all for today. Thank you for, for your attention. See you tomorrow in class.